Mark Martin is undoubtedly NASCAR's greatest driver to never win a championship. Unfortunately, he was always a bridesmaid and never a bride. 2009 is one of those five runner-up seasons where Mark Martin nearly won his first Cup Series title. So let's get into it. The year prior, fans thought Mark Martin's championship contention days were long behind him. He would sign with DEI to drive the famous number 8 on a part-time basis. In his 24 starts with DEI, his stats are this, 0 wins, 4 top 5s, 11 top 10s, and an average finish of 13.3. Not only did fans notice that Mark Martin still had it in him, but Rick Hendrick did as well because later on in the summer of 2008, it was announced he would drive the number 5 full-time in 2009. Martin was quoted in saying, this is an opportunity I could not pass up. Heading into the 2009 season, it was expected for Mark Martin to get the 5 team back inside the chase. To put it lightly, the season started off less than harmonious. Mark Martin up in smoke. Got one more cup. And I think we knew that that was inevitably going to happen. Yeah. Now Clint Boyer, the 33, is a lap down. See Mark on the bottom down here, number 5. Oh, yeah. And there she goes. That valve that uh, Jeff was showing us, it quit going up and down. Well, all day long, Daryl, Mark Martin has said that the car is very close, and that's exactly what he had in practice. Not quite perfect, but very, very close. He's asked for a track bar adjustment to tighten the car up a little bit on the next round of pit stops. A little bit loose right now. Five cars got a problem. There. No, this this is their green flag stop. Remember, they stayed out the last caution. This Boy, should be he, the... was, he was smoking the tires all the way up in the middle of the corner. Dick? Well, Mark Martin said that the car came out of gear and blew up too, so it all happened at the same time. And perhaps when the engine did come out of gear, it over revved, but it's gone. Mark Martin's day is done. And, and, and that's what I saw, caution flags out. I saw him take off up the track with smoke flying. I didn't think it was tire smoke. Here he comes, right here. Oh, yeah. She jumped out of gear, over revved, got fire in the wheels there, looked down in the wheel well. You can see right there the crew members saying, look, we're pretty much, we're, we're done. Turn two. Whoa. Mark Martin goes around. Caution's out. Four cars, two cars left there. Need to come on around. Hey, we'll do the best we can here. Cell phone, guys. Yep. There it goes. We just lost it. Got the wall hard. This will be us down the bottom. So this will be the eighth caution of the afternoon and it comes for our pole sitter, Mark Martin. Four races in and Mark Martin was sitting a season low 34th in the standings. Despite fans writing the season off, what soon followed was one of the greatest in-season turnarounds in NASCAR history. At the tender age of 50, Mark Martin was a championship contender once again. Green flag. Mark Martin looked to the inside. He's going to go to the high side, though, through one and two. This will be no contest. Look at how he goes off turn two. He yanks Tony Stewart by five car lengths. Mark, Maybe, bud, nice and smooth. Mark knew he had to get by. He had to get going because he couldn't He couldn't sit there and wait on Tony. Tony would eat him up if he did. New team, new driver. One White more. flag in the air. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. One more. Like Mark needs to be told, nice and smooth. He's got a one second lead. He's got half a lap to go. I'm going to tell you what, this is going to be a popular win with the fans and with the competitors. I can guarantee you that. And I'm really happy for Rick Hendrick because this five car, it's been a while since it won a race, and Rick really is proud of this opportunity way that uh, got to send in Mark Hamm. Good job, Mark. Well, Mark we had Mark. a battle for third with Kurt Busch in that two and Jimmy Johnson, but Kurt Busch prevails. I love driving your car. Thank you. <laughs> he has 25 top tens here. This is his 43rd Darlington race, and he's on the money lap. One to go. Has a pretty clean racetrack in front of him. There's one car out there about four or five car lengths. He's halfway down the back straightaway now. What a great night for him and his team. He can almost coast home from here. Man, I think we're going to make it. <laughs> I think the old are, man, Mark. Mark Martin, second win of the season, second win at Darlington. Mark Martin wins Woo. at Darlington. That's Again. big. That's big, boys. Oh, guys.
Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> nice job, boy. That whole team. What a deal. Mark's 37th Sprint Cup win. That's what I'm talking about. Mark Martin is about a second and a half behind this. Matt on Mark. Phil, he's sitting back there knowing that his car is fast. Mark told his crew just moments ago he said I feel like we can run up there and pass them the problem is we need to finish we need to have a solid run here he's 13th in the points one point out of 12 right now he's in fuel conservation mode looking at the bigger picture yeah actually Matt right now where he runs he would move up to the 10th spot in points so you're right he does need a good finish today White flag is oh, out. Jimmy oh, Johnson's Jimmy out of fuel. Yes. Jimmy oh, Johnson oh, oh. is out of fuel. Biffle leads. White flag in the air. This is the last lap. Biffle may be the new Silver Fox. Well, well, hang on. We got a long way to go. You got Mark Martin sitting right there. Mark just moved to second. Biffles, he looks to be He's slow. slower. He's slower. Is he slower? He's off the pace. He's off the pace. Here, Here comes, comes Mark Martin. He's barreling. Oh my God! Oh, look at Biffle. He's shaking it. He He's just shaking went it. to the switch. Here comes Here Mark. Comes oh Ooh. no! Half a lap from the finish. Mark Martin to the lead. Incredible. Does he have enough fuel? This is drama, dude. This is. Oh yeah, he can he can coast from here. Out of He's four. got it. Biffle's gonna coast. He's got Mark four Martin. wins here and another one today. Mark Martin takes the checkered flag of Michigan. <laughs> That's why you love racing. Stewart up to fourth. Here comes Tony. Remember how far back he started tonight. Way deep in the field. Stewart, Stewart began in 32nd tonight. Running inside the top five. Here we go. White flag is out. I'm telling you, these guys chasing Mark Martin better be glad it's not another 100 laps in this race or he'll lap them all. Uh, Casey Kane had a great night. How about Tony Stewart? Look, as far back as 17th after that pit stop has driven back to fourth. What a great run. What a great Coming run. Coming to the Mark checkered Martin. flag. Mark Martin takes the win. Jeff Gordon finishes in second. And that's a million dollars from Lifeline. His fourth win of 2009, the most of all drivers, and his first win here in Chicagoland and in his ninth start here. Martin has to cross the start finish line first, and he does it. And now it's anybody's race as Martin tries to beat Montoya in one, and Montoya gets there first. Comes Kirk Bush on the inside of Denny Hamlin trying to make it three wide. Montoya great, made a great start there. He laid back a little bit and got a nice run. He timed it perfectly. I said, how you have to do it to try to maintain that with that outside car having the uh, control. Here comes Hamlin. He's cleared Jimmy Johnson. Side by side, they are door to door out of turn four, and Martin will take the advantage by a oh, car left. Wow, clear, that was a clear, great clear, run clear. off of that corner for Mark Martin. Martin has never won a race at New Hampshire. See Kyle Busch there on the outside of Jimmy Johnson trying to take that four spot away. Got a spin off of turn four. He's already taken the white flag. So they'll race back here to the checkered flag. Caution's not out yet. They're still racing. No caution yet. They got cars sitting here. They're going to have to throw the caution. Still not out. Still not out. It's going to come to the checkered they flag. Oh, really? Now our call comes out. Coming to the checkers. Coming to the checkers. And it is officially Marcus, over. Marcus Watch out. Watch out. Checkers, they, the caution's out. You got the win. Martin. Baby, you are unbelievable. He really unbelievable. is unbelievable. Good what a you move. Are. You know, to hold off Montoya, who has just been the most aggressive, fastest car out there today. I'm speechless. I can't talk right now, boys. His 2009 stats are this. Five wins, 14 top fives, 21 top tens, and an average finish of 13.7 and would finish second in the standings. After 2009, Mark Martin's title contending days were pretty much over. He would drive for Hendrick Motorsports for two more seasons, failing to finish inside the top 10 in points. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.